Well, guys, every town in Connecticut is covered by a domestic violence organization. Here in Waterbury, Safe Haven behind me actually covers 13 different communities, and they say that they've been trying to get more information related to the case of LaRonda and Eric Jones. It, it just happens too frequently. The office of the chief medical examiner deemed the deaths of LaRonda and Eric Jones a murder-suicide. That's crazy. That's like scary. LaRonda shot three times in the head, neck, and torso while lying in bed here at her condo on Perkins Avenue in Waterbury on November 21st. You know, it's so quiet, nobody even heard that. It's where she lived with her husband, Eric Jones, a retired New Haven police detective and former school resource officer. After killing his wife, he turned the gun on himself. These deaths are often very much preventable. Margaret Rosa is the associate director of Safe Haven. They help victims of domestic violence break the cycle before it's too late. It takes a community, police, court, and then friends, neighbors, family, to say that this is not okay and we are here for you and we support you. But in the Jones case, there were no signs that anything was wrong in the relationship. They were quiet people, like, you know, you would have never thought that. Rosa says quiet sometimes isn't a good thing. Um, well, typically people do feel once they are in a domestic violence situation, they feel very alone. It's part of the dynamics of power and control. In 2019, more than 33,000 adults and nearly 5,000 children received domestic violence services. The statewide hotline received nearly 34,000 calls. And in case you missed it, we do have the number to the statewide domestic violence hotline posted on our website, fox61.com. Reporting live in Waterbury, Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.